One of our favorite parts of the summer here at GMA is the Fancy Food Show. Our food editor, Sarah Moulton, scoured seven acres of delicious treats, sampling the newest and hottest trends in food. And she's here now with her best. we got a table full. Yeah, I, I know. i got to right get going. Here. I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> Where do we start? Okay, well, you already tried the uh, bacon popcorn. I think it needs more bacon. What, well, I don't like know. That's how, <laughs> Sam said he thought it had a nice bacon finish. Mm. Hmm. Bacon mm. finish. Very bacon fancy. Yeah, he's very, you know, yeah. woo-hoo. Uh, anyway, anyway, from the same people who brought us bacon eggs and bacon salt. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, okay, and then here we have two cheeses. This sounds sort of counterintuitive for people who hate strong cheeses. So we have a goat cheese from a company called Vermont Butter and Cheese. Mm -hmm. it, but it's a wonderful cheese. Um, it's creamy, it's smooth, and uh, people on our team who hated this kind of cheese loved it, especially it melted on a piece right. of bread. And they do some sausage. Well, that's, that's yeah. next, but then we also have a blue cheese from Rogue Creamery, which is in Oregon, and somebody else on our team, Katie in particular, who hates blue cheese, loved this blue cheese. But what's new about these cheeses? That they're, they're the newest product for each of these okay. companies, and I'll tell you, this, this illustrates a trend. What we saw a lot of at the, food, at, uh, the Fancy Food Show was individual local producers making artisanal products, and this okay. is yet another one. Mm -hmm. This is from Vermont uh, Fire and Smoke, and this is a company that makes these little sausages. This is a pepperoni that's been smoked, that's not oily, mm -hmm. doesn't have a lot of additives, has lower salt, doesn't leave oil on your fingers, and this is a summer sausage. Good. Again, slightly lower in sodium, and just a small company. Uh, local mm -hmm. pigs and cows go into these, so we, we, we really like this. Okay, another trend we saw was pumpkin and... So farm raised. I mean, this is, you can feel... Oh, yes, this is yes, a yes, I'm yes. skipping ahead too much. This okay. is a pumpkin. Yeah, that's the pumpkin salsa. This is from Frontera Grill Company that made lots of wonderful salsas. But this is another trend. We saw sweet potatoes, pumpkins, so, uh, winter and squash. Salsa. Yeah, it's delicious. It's got... Try it. We got a little bit here. Okay. It's a little spicy, I warn you. All right. Okay, so it's... it's um, Sweet potatoes. It's um, it's got oh, uh, tomatillos. It's got chipotle, which is the smoky. Mm. We're having dinner for breakfast. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. And then nacho chips. This is from a company um, called Laurel Hill. This is their newest chip. Again, it's all sort of natural ingredients. And what we love about these is that the cheese doesn't stay on your fingers. Right. You know, like the competitors. Right. Um, How did they figure that out? I don't know. Brilliant. Huh. Okay. It wouldn't be summer without a pickle. This is from our favorite pickle man, Rick's Pickles. He pickles everything. He does. <laughs> but these are this is rather traditional. He said this, these are these are cucumbers, mm -hmm. but they're quite hot. Uh, they've got sriracha and habanero flavoring. And they're Dare crinkle, crinkle cut. You can't eat just one. <laughs> really? Give it a shot. It will clean out your nasal, nasal passages. Not but but it's, it's... What do you think? Woo! Woo! Okay. Whoa. All right. Moving right down here to clear... to, to, to counterbalance oh, this. a kick at the end. Yeah. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah. Okay, this is a sherbet melon. It's okay, a cross this is what, between a honeydew and a cantaloupe. I'm and it's overwhelmed okay, I know. Here. Now you're both going to be lost. I'll just keep talking. No, have, have, yeah, have, have this if you want. Okay, so you can see it's got the best of both of them. It so looks it's like good. honeydew and, and sort of like a cantaloupe. cantaloupe. But which one does it taste like? Both. Okay, let me try one. And it's one. organic and it's a hybrid. Um, mm. Isn't that fun? Oh my God. Okay, drinking chocolates. That's you could try phenomenal. this. Here we have Dagobah. This is a chai chocolate. It combines chocolate and chai, you know, so ginger and mm. all those wonderful well, chai cardamom. Chai supposed to be good for you. Yes, so that's have a taste a, if right. you want. And this is a chocolate uh, dipping chocolate stick. You take the stick, it's Belgian chocolate, you put it in hot milk, you stir it, it turns out wonderful. Okay, we've got some other beverages oh, down here. Two drinking house, chocolates. Yeah, they're great. Mm. This is hibiscus, which is uh, made from the flower. It's really, really refreshing. I highly recommend. This is green rooibos. You've seen the red rooibos, the red bush mm -hmm. tea. This is even healthier because it's not oxidized. You've got to get to the best but, waffles no, but you've got to oh, try awesome. these. This is uh -oh, sea buckthorn. It's a new superfruit. Just take a little bite of that. That's what the tea tastes like. It's sort of like a creamsicle. And it's, it's a exactly superfruit. Like a creamsicle. It's good for you. Yep. I can't taste anything after that pickle. I know. We killed you. Oh, we killed you. You're dead. Okay. Julian's waffles. These are so good. This is made by a chef that you don't need butter or syrup. Okay, and last but Very not least, cool. you've already had the funky, chunky chips, and you're going to mention no, this? I'm going to mention, this was going to be on our website. You've tried sweet, sour, salty, and bitter, but if you want to know about the mysterious fifth taste, go to our website. There's, it's called Umami in a Tube. Yes.